Now we're going to lay out and uh, put together our sole plate. When we pour a measurement for our sole plate, we're going to pull from the sole plate itself, not from the wall plate. So we're going to come out to our sole plate, scribe a line at our 8 foot mark. This is where we're going to place our 24 inch cleat. penny nails but we're only going to drive one as a keeper nail for now because this is what the, our adjustability is going to be at. We have our one foot area in behind the cleat. It's going to allow this thing to move back or forward wherever we're going to need this on our sole plate uh, once we contact the wall and get it in position and start to pressurize the short. So it's very important. Do not drive all these nails home. Drive one home as a keeper nail and then we will pull that nail, adjust our shore, pressurize it and then drive our nails home. Good. Okay, so our wall plate and our sole plate, we're in an upright position just so we can get them nailed and laid out. When we get ready to start assembling this, we've got to roll both of those in. It's important to note that when we roll these in, that our wall plate sets in front of our sole plate. The wall plate cannot be on top of the sole plate. Um, otherwise, if this gets loaded, the only thing resisting the wall plate from collapsing inward is the raker itself and the shear strength of the nails and the gusset place placed in this corner position. You can see as we assemble this joint with the wall plate running in front, that's where that three and a half inches comes from that we're pre-adding to our wall plate. So that raker is in theory or in actuality riding on top of the sole, which is why we're pushing that collection point up that three and a half inches. So Gar, talk about how we're gonna square this up uh, before we go ahead and nail this. Go ahead. We'll be right back. Okay, when we're talking about squaring up our 90 degree angle here on our raker shore, there's two or three different methods you can use. Uh, you can use a speed square, will work for good for a smaller system. Stick your speed square in the corner, make sure you've got good contact on both legs. Um, also, if your gussets are cut square, which is very important if they come from the, to the cut table square, you can use your gusset as a quick reference. I don't like to use this method because there's a lot of mistakes can be made at the cut table. These can be cut out of square. It's not a real good practice. The be best practice that I have found, especially because we're dealing with a fairly large uh, piece of material, large angle here, is to use what we call a 3-4-5 measurement. So we're going to use our tape to measure this up. Uh, one thing that you want to remember when you do this, you want to either pull outside to outside or inside to inside. If you screw it up and you pull it outside and then pull it inside, it's going to skew your measurements. So what we're going to do basically is we're going to pull three feet. We're going to go outside to outside on this one. We're going to pull three feet and we're going to make a mark. Dalen's now going to be a pull four feet on, this, on the wall plate and he's also going to make a mark. Now we're going to stretch our tape between the two marks and it will be square when it reads five feet on that wall plate. We can see he's a little short so we're going to take our sole and move it to where that now reads five feet. It's also important when you pull this tape that you both orient, whether you're orienting your tape to the bottom side of the marking or the top side of the marking. That can make big differences. Cigar, are you on the top side of the marking or the bottom side? I'm on this side, this plane okay. right here, the bottom so side. So I'm gonna stay on that same edge and then we're gonna work this around until we're in position. That's good, we're square. Once this joint is squared, we're gonna make sure we've got good marriage between the wall plate and the sole plate. You're gonna hold those joints in place while the other party starts nailing it in place. Remember that because the wall plate covers the entire run of the gusset plate, it's getting eight nails. The sole plate is getting five nails. Eight penny nails. Good Z. Yep.